Sheikh Mohammed is one of four brothers. He is the second to the youngest. His oldest brother, Sheikh Maktoum al Maktoum, ran the country since his father's death, and then Sheikh Maktoum died in early 2006, at which point Sheikh Mohammed took over. Sheikh Mohammed, his passion has always been horses. He would hear stories from his grandfather about their Bedouin ancestors, about the role of the horse in the Maktoum family, about the great wars that they've won while on horseback. He will, after work, go to his stables and just hang out with his horses. He's got a real connection. And one of the things that Sheikh Mohammed's done is not just spend his money on horses, but he's wanted to link them to Dubai. One of his economic plans is to make Dubai not just dependent on oil, but to get revenue from all kinds of places. An important one is tourism. They found a way to really bring people in from around the world, mostly from Europe. And one of the ways they do that is by having incredible shopping. There's a place called the Mall of the Emirates. It basically feels like you've walked into an entire shopping country. It doesn't end. You've also got three island chains, three man-made island chains called the Palm Islands that are all visible from space that are huge landfills that will hold houses and roads. They also have great beaches. They've got a lot of hotels that are built right on the beach. There's the sports city, there's a media city. So the buildings you're seeing, the incredible success of Dubai, the growth in real estate, the growth in financial services, the growth in tourism, all of that has been planned that Sheikh Mohammed, Sheikh Mohammed's father and Sheikh Mohammed's grandfather even put into place to make sure that Dubai was as independent as possible and could thrive no matter what the conditions were going on in the world or in economies around them.